the class sizes are bigger, that puts a lot more stress on the pupils and teachers. £2.8 billion has been cut from school budgets since 2015. Around £54,000 from each primary school has been cut, and around £205,000 from each secondary school has been cut. The creative subjects contribute so much to the school life, wider and in the curricula, and I think that students will miss out on that aspect. Uh, we operate through life based on the fact that we need to be logical and creative, and so essentially what we're saying is we'll just cut that half of life out of young people's uh, education, and to me that's as an employer, you're looking for someone that can offer something to your profession. But one way of showing that you can do this is with music, drama and art. So without learning to play the piano, without learning how to draw with a pencil, you can't show your employer that you are special and unique. I study health and social care, but because it's not a core subject, it may be cut. If there is cuts to my educational funding, then things like food debt will be cut and I won't be able to do that anymore. Meaning that a job like, I don't know, a chef or something that I want to do when I'm older, I won't be able to do that. That's my future gone. I study art and design. I'm worried that it may be cut because of pressure on school budgets. It opens up many career paths, from architect and designer to non-specifically art-related jobs. It supplies us with skills of creativity, which can help us throughout life. Hi, I'm Mr Bailey, subject lead for Art and Design at Richard Chalmers School. Um, for me, art's an extremely important subject. I, I can't imagine a curriculum without it. I think it really gives students the opportunity to express themselves and, and be independent and be different. It helps. It's a flow of creativity. Art is a great outlet for emotion. For one of my GCSE options, I have chosen to study drama. It's a subject which encourages confidence. The subject has encouraged me to be more confident whilst presenting speeches. In the future, it also helps with analysing other people's work. It can lead to a career on the creative side or even as a public speaker. If drama was cut from the secondary school um, education curriculum, I feel students would miss out uh, heavily, actually. Um, drama allows students to engage with uh, real-world events and to create pieces based on those. Um, it also gives them a creative outlet and allows them to um, express themselves in, in other ways that you wouldn't probably get in other subjects. Not everyone is an academic student, so it's important to offer subjects like drama. And I know for me personally, drama really helped me come out of my shell and become more confident. And it does help you stand out. And like, it feels almost as though it's its own community and it just helps build confidence and it's great. We interviewed a science teacher and discovered equipment in the latest technology would be too expensive to purchase. As well as that, resources such as textbooks and equipment for required practicals would be cut back if the budget was decreased. Finally, we talked about teacher recruitment in subjects like science and maths. Because a degree in these su subjects offer well-paid jobs in other areas, it could cause problems with the quality of education. If school budget cuts continue to happen, then it's going to be subjects such as product design that will be greatly affected. And this means that product design won't be offered at GCSE and A-level. And if this happens, then universities won't be able to find the students with the correct skill set to complete their courses and make great and bright engineers in the future. For example, maths and physics are a very important subject when it comes to engineering, but product design is also equally as important because it gives you the skill of trying to find solutions and finding multiple solutions to the same problem. I think that if PE was dropped as a subject then lots of people would become really upset and that this would cause lots of distress in the classroom. Sport is a, is a way to show yourself. So I think if the cuts for education continued it would be uh, really tragic if something like PE was lost because it gives students lots of opportunities to show themselves in environments where they wouldn't do that before. Uh, they get to learn and develop skills that aren't accessed in a classroom like teamwork, communication and cooperation skills and I think those sorts of problem solving environments are key to the de holistic development of students. At every head teachers meeting I go to, the mood is one of despondency and despair. The talk is of too little money and too few staff. The talk is also about inspiring young people to fulfil their potential and to achieve the very best results they can. Fortunately, um, heads are being forced to make decisions. Forced to make decisions that are not in the best interest of young people because of funding cuts. 
This video that the children have produced far more intelligently and articulately than I could or any of the head teachers could says why they're concerned about education and their futures. What I would say to those people in power, those who can make decisions to affect change, is help us to do the job that we're here to do and don't force us to make decisions that will directly impact on young people's futures. Help us to ensure that our young people get the education that they deserve. Help us be the best we can be. Please give us the opportunity to have a full education. Let us develop into varied and unique individuals. I want to be a chef. I want to be a photographer. I want to be an engineer. I want to be a football trainer. I want to create music. Your decisions affect us all.